Hello everyone, Welcome to Steve here, and welcome to a mod for Outer Wilds, The Outsider. And there's a shadow in front of the logo, and it's already starting, and we're not even at the menu screen yet. Uh, so, uh, disclaimer, uh, my greatest regret, okay, well one of my greatest regrets, not like my actual greatest regret, but one of my fake uh, greatest regrets, well not, it's still a regret, like, I very much have regretted not recording my first playthrough of Outer Wilds in Echoes of the Eye. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully solve that by recording all of my mod playthroughs. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Outer Wilds is a space archaeology game. That's kind of the best way I can describe it. And it is among the best games I have ever played. So if you watching right now have never played Outer Wilds, uh, you should stop watching right now and go ahead and play Outer Wilds, because this game is designed in a way that makes it extremely sensitive to spoilers. Uh, so like, you know, other games like a spoiler, like, uh, it might not matter that much. This game, it matters a lot. The, the reveals are among the greatest in video game history, in my opinion. The emotions are among the greatest in video game history, in my opinion. So, uh, but if you're here because you just want to see someone uh, experience this mod for the first time, welcome. Uh, I usually do uh, a lot of Kerbal Space Program content, but, you know, I'm starting to branch out as well. So, now for playing the Outsider... I have not played the Outsider mod yet, this is my... I don't know anything about the Outsider mod, uh, besides what the mod page description told me. Uh, I'm going to load previous save, I guess? Uh, oh wait, no, I was doing a shipless run. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I don't care that much. Uh, it's probably not that big of a deal, and it's frozen. So another thing I have to do now is that I noticed people, like, I became one of those people that to get more Outer Wilds I would just watch people play it endlessly, and it kind of probably knocked my grades down a little bit because I was doing too much Outer Wilds binging. <laughs> uh, but one thing I noticed is people really like it when uh, someone runs the entire game. Like, I, like, I record the entire thing and doesn't edit it, which is great for me because I don't have to do editing, but it's also bad for me because I'm very bad at filling silence and the loading is taking forever and... Okay, there we are. So, filling silence is gonna be something that I'll have to do, uh, which I'm not quite used to, but, you know, uh, what better way to learn than by doing? The game is frozen. I have blue circle on my mouse. <laughs> Okay, now the loading icon has finally showed up, which is in the bottom right because you can't see my face. And all right, uh, wake up again. It's been a while since I've been here, and it's good to be back. Hello, Slate. How you doing? Uh, there's our pilot ready to get this beauty off the ground. You bet, Slate. I am so, so happy to be back in the Outer Wilds. Uh, wait, wait. Were the structures on Dark Bramble all what? What structures on? Hold on. Okay, so that's the mod. Uh, were the structures on Dark Bramble always there? Well, yeah, you know the little anger push in the museum? It got caught on the landing gear of our, one of our ships when it was flying close to get a look at the structures, remember? Yes, I totally remember that. I think you need to wake up a bit from your pre-launch camp. Do a couple of jumps, maybe. We. Oh, shoot. Ow. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure how... To, I mean, obviously, I should go take a look at the structures on Dark Bramble. However, partially for nostalgia's sake, and partially... Just to see if there's anything there. I am going to go and look at the observatory. Well, I should get my suit on first. I also it would also help me get used to playing with a keyboard because I originally did play Outer Wilds with a controller. I, I know that's the recommended way to do it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't currently have access to one. Um, actually, hold on. I'm going to pause for just a moment, and I'm actually going to turn down the game volume a little bit, because I know the water does tend to get pretty loud, and it's also like 3 a.m., so I'm trying not to be super obnoxious. Uh, so that should be slightly better audio balance now. All right. You know what, let's just fly over to the museum. Uh, what is the... Okay, shift and control. The observatory is over here. Let's go over by the quantum rock, shall we? Okay, this is definitely a lot different than flying with controller. And let me guess, the quantum rock is gonna teleport into- yep, I think that's exactly what happens. 
Okay. Actually, okay. I'm going to check the audio again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. I don't actually know how it's sounding. Uh, but, you know, I'd rather have the game be too quiet than drown me out. Okay. Anglerfish. If there's anything here, it's probably going to be in here. Attach the landing of one or six. I float to dark bramble. Okay, so this was probably unnecessary. I'm not seeing anything else new in here. There's possible there might be someone in the village. Uh, I don't think so, because, you know, whatever. <sighs> hey, you. Shut up. I'm trying to fly a ship here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Dark Bramble. Now, where in the sky is Dark Bramble at the moment? There's Giant Steep over there. There's our good old friend Brittle Hollow. Uh, there we are. Dark Bramble. Or as my sibling likes to call it, uh, Bark Dramble. <laughs> okay. So... I'm noticing it looks a little bit different. How do you do autopilot on the computer? It's X. Okay. Oh, it's good to be back. Hello, Interloper. Hello, Holler's Lantern. Hello, Giant Steep. Hello, Timber Hearth. And hello, you. I know I read from the mod description that the entire mod takes place here, which is wonderful as some as a. <laughs> it's gonna be terrifying. <laughs> Especially because I don't have... Okay, there's a thing there. Hold on. There's a thing there. What is that? What is that? Th okay, is that just the white hole? Okay, alright. It was just the white hole. It looked really scary because it was going behind Dark Bramble. Nope, the control's down. Ah. Ah, what I wouldn't give to have controller right now. Is that like a no my solar panel? Oh, there's another structure uh, as well on, on Dark Bramble over there. Uh... Where's my signal scope? That's why. And what's... What, how do I zoom? Okay, I can't zoom in this ship, I don't think. Alright, anyway. Um, is there a landing pad here? I see a blue glowy thing that I might be able to translate. Uh, is that... Hold on, what is that? No, don't hit me with the feels. I'm not ready for feels yet. <laughs> I just started. Okay. Alright. Uh, there's a thing there. And it kind of looks purple like no my stuff, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it's called the Outsider, so there's probably a new alien here. How do I match velocity to something that's going to be... Uh, I'm just pressing every button. Okay, so T is signal scope. Uh, that's headlights. Uh, that's, let's look down. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Uh, I'm up with Q. Alright, let's... I'm in my suit. I, I tried to click. It's E. Alright, so Ultimate Sieve gets used to keyboard controls. The episode. Okay, how do I turn my headlights? It was like... Oh, I hear, I hear music. Okay, now it's kind of scary here. Alright. There's another structure. There's so many structures here. Okay. All right. Uh, how do I roll? It's roll R plus uh, mouse. Okay, that's how we roll. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh hey, artificial gravity fan. I, I, this is big enough for my entire ship. Why didn't I park my ship here? Okay, so that's glass. There's a gravity crystal here. Okay. Translate is right-click. Ooh, finally finished building this stupid space station. Uh, these seed things are great. Saved having to build long, giant long cables everywhere. Okay, uh, don't understand this, but that's kind of what Art Wild is all about. So, Datura is probably a no my given the fact that it's the list. Wait, hold on. I have, I have pause reading text on, so this must be one of those times that I'm not supposed to do that. These seed things are great. Saved having to build giant long cables everywhere. It's pretty cool, huh? Couldn't you have done it? Couldn't have done it without y you, friend, and your ship. Okay, so there's a friend. Dark Bramble. Okay, hold on. Let me read that one more time. Stupid space station. See if things are great. Uh, it's because they have to build cables. Now, what could the cables or the seeds have been used for? Okay, that's. Uh, I'm not gonna move that yet. I'm gonna read this first. Bramble Power Station. 
So they're using Bramble to power something? Or are they powering Bramble? Or something on Bramble? All right, I'm guessing this operates the doors. Oh, that's a uh, flashlight. That's not spooky at all. Uh, that's Scout. Uh, what a way to queue. Is it a quantum thing? Because I don't see the door opening. Is it something I have to not look at? Okay, that's a cool view. Or maybe I just don't know how to get in yet. Because I think if it was if I was meant to open it right now, it'd be obvious. But I'm guessing I just don't have the prerequisite knowledge at the moment. There's something around here. Well, there's literally another tower. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there's another thing here. Aha, uh -huh, that's not uh, weird at all. Um... Northern Observer... Oh! I think I get it. This is... Wait, hold on. I think I know. Uh, this is a place that people used to transport places. So I'm guessing whoever this was, was... Oh, no, no, not small... Okay, I thought these were portals for a second. But no, it just looks like they're using wires to transmit data over long distances using dark bramble seeds. Which is a cool concept. Initial campsite and shuttle crusher. The shuttle crusher does not seem like a fun thing? I mean, this is Nomai tech, so I'd imagine that Nomai were using this for something. Study tower and project projection pool house. So this is kind of the... I guess this is the Ash Twin project of the mod, I guess? Like, the place that connects everything? Um, warning. Coronal mass ejection. Error gravity stability system has damaged. Uh, Giant Steep approaching in 11 minutes, 31... Okay, hold on. Um, okay. Uh, I, I did think the sun looked a little weird. Uh, Cinema scope, so I can zoom in. Uh, of course, I love my camera lock is because my neck is only so flexible. So, it, it does appear that uh, this gets destroyed at some point, maybe? Or maybe something else gets destroyed. I mean, I'll see in uh, 10 minutes or whatever that was. Uh, gravity stability system is damaged. Giants keep approaching in just 11 minutes. Okay, so I have 11 minutes. I still have no idea what this does. Uh, so which one of these do I want to check out first? I'm kind of... Uh, oh, okay. I need to get oxygen, too. Uh, initial campsite and shuttle crusher. That sounds... Okay. Uh, the scout is below me, so I'm guessing that is a location on Dark Bramble. What happens if I turn this on? And turn it off? I don't know. Uh, rotate camera is gonna be... Z1234? Wait, no. Oh, one, two, three, four, okay. Okay, so there's, basically, okay. I'm, I'm overthinking, I'm, I think I'm, okay. Um, I just have to go places. Okay, so that's the initial campsite in Shuttle Crusher. There's a study pool and production house, but I think I'm just gonna come back here later. Uh, giant sea approaching in 10 minutes, especially since I probably don't have all of the oxygen required. Uh, uh, was this open before? Angler fish hunting blind. No, that's just I haven't been here yet. Uh, and the door. Bramble power station. Okay, anyway. um, My ship is 1.6 kilometers away. But that hasn't stopped me before. How do I lock onto my ship? Can I do that? Put away. Okay. Orbital rendezvous with my ship. Uh, just to get oxygen back. Can I, can I lock onto my ship? I don't know. Uh, okay, I might actually run out of fuel here. 60 seconds oxygen. Oh, there we are. I can lock onto my ship. But that's going to be fine, because I have plenty of time to get into the ship. Uh, okay, alright, there we are. We're good. 
and then I can refuel over. Where is it again? It's over here. Use my kite refuel jetpack. All right. So my scout should still be on the location now. Has Giant Steep moved? There's a coronal mass injection, which is a scary sequence of words. Uh, there are there do appear to be bridges everywhere now. Structures on Dark Bramble. Okay, so this is the shuttle crusher and initial campsite. And there's something about a friend. Although Dark Bramble might be the friend. Alright, so I'm gonna start with... Okay, well, what do we have around us? We have a giant tower. We've got that thing. We've got that thing. Uh... And we've got that thing, which appears to be one of those gravity launchers. Okay, there's a bunch of things to look at over here. Let's uh, read these first. Uh, right click. Right, so the shuttle is just sitting here, and I can't send it back without sending B back, so I don't know why. I'm gonna smash it to bits. It'll be symbolic. You know, to say I will not return until I've accomplished what I set out to do. So this, so Nomai was like, that uh, the sun looks not healthy. Uh, not return until I would have set up to do. Like Charles Munch from Up. Uh, update. So, I did it, I suppose. I used this smashy smashy device on the shuttle, which dented it, and it set off the shuttle's alarm, which was, well, alarming. And the warp core fell out, so I went over to grab it. it might be useful, I thought, but after returning to the sh Hold on. The small Nomai ships have warp cores now? Okay. Maybe I'll, Maybe there's something more to that. Um, after returning to the shelter here... What is that? Hold on. Uh. Uh. Okay, I know. Is that just like a little bit of debris, or is this just like floating here? I can't. Okay, I. Uh, I keep expecting space to be up. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Wow, I'm in the air. Okay, I'm in the air. I'm still in the air. What is this thing? How big is that? Okay, it's not very... I, I don't think that's important. Anyway, back to what I was reading. Uh, okay, where was I? I was... So, Dadara, I'm assuming that's a she? Um, smashed her shuttle. The warp core fell out. Uh, the shuttle blew up. Mission accomplished, but also, wow, I almost died. I should be more careful. That's me on a daily basis. <laughs> Uh, update again. I've set up a projection pool on the ice island west from here. The ice island. I guess what that's what these bits of ramble are called. So I can talk to Felix and my daughter. So Detroit is a Noma because Felix is a Noma and presumably at least. But instead, bells and pies. Yeah, okay, so she knows the Noma, so she's probably a Noma. Riding with Noma riding, using Noma shuttles. So yeah, Detroit is almost certainly a Noma. Uh... Bells and Pie called, informing me the gravity cannons were improved a little bit since I left. They too realized the issue of my shuttle being stuck here. Shuttle. They told me that they were trying to recall. Oh, they mean. Oh, wait, sorry, silly me. This is literally just a normal shuttle with a normal work core and not an advanced work core. Silly me. Um, so, yeah, those are equipped with work cores. They told me they were trying to recall it from the gravity cannon, but the switch they had added wasn't working for some reason and told me. Check if there is something up with my shuttle. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just randomly destroying a shuttle because that is something. So there's something with the west pool. Uh, what's up here? Systems observation post or something. Ah, it would seem that friend enjoys some symbolism too. So who's friend? Well, time to destroy another ship. I used the machine just the ones which damaged their ship and caused the ship's alarm to go off. Remembering last time I waited. Friend was a bit confused why I wasn't using the device again, but I assured them I knew what I was doing. We waited and waited, and then bang, their ship exploded too, and then they understood. Friend used to go off to their clan occasionally. Perhaps building a house here made it so they don't need to. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, friend. Uh, friend asked me why I've written and am writing my thoughts and leaving them around the place. I told them it's kind of a no-lie thing. So friend is not no-lie. 
uh, Nomai are, or are supposed to be nomads, and I suppose it's a way of telling other Nomai clans, haha, we were here first, or warn them of dangers of cool stuff or something. Okay, so, friend came here. Why is it floating? Uh, and presumably, and they crushed the ship. So there's two crushed ships over here. Hold on, where, where is Giant's Deep? Because the sun, okay, the sun, I cannot see the sun or Giant's Deep from here. Um, so I'm gonna really quickly zoom out until I can see them, just to make sure that we're not about to run into them. Uh, that is kind of looking close, not gonna lie. So I'm actually going to get in my ship and see what this looks like from a distance, I'm guessing. Because apparently, because Giant's Deep is crashing into something in a couple of minutes from now. Apparently. Oh, it's... Okay, so I still... There's still more stuff over there I need to explore. Uh... Oh, okay. Alright, so the sun doesn't look weird. It's just that the shading from Dark Bramble made it look weird. Dark Bramble's atmosphere. Just the normal, well, as normal as the sun can be in Outer Wilds, I guess. Actually, hold on. So, what is the, and that's the northern observatory, it looks like, apparently. I'm guessing that's north. Um, Giant's Deep is going away from us right now. Maybe? No, it's coming towards us. Okay, where, where is that station? The, oh, there it is. That's convenient. So I want to take a look at that countdown timer again. Unless it's going to happen right now and I'm going to miss it. So I know from experience now that I can land my ship here. Uh, how do I exit the... Uh, put away, unbuckle. It's, and Giant Steep is still not here yet, I'm guessing. I can't see it. Uh, Alright, so let's make this uh, quick, I guess. So it should be right here. Uh, 1 minute 13 seconds. Giant Steep approaching in... Yeah, so I should get back to the ship so I can take a look at this. I don't know why Giant Steep is arriving. Uh, that'd be a good... And I guess in the meantime I can my ship log check my ship log for additional information i have missed although it i, I don't know how spoilery the mod authors made this because i know that some people's complaints with some of it uh all right giant steep where are you what are you crashing into are you crashing into dark bramble um you are definitely you're coming that direction You definitely seem like you're closer than normal to Dark Bramble. The sun is looking mighty orange there. There's the Orbital Pro Cannon. Is it just... I, I don't think it's getting closer. Like, or does it just like, gravitationally tear it apart, or...? What's that? No, that's just the quantum moon. I thought it was a weird circle thing. I mean, I guess the quantum moon is a weird circle thing. It's really hard to tell. Oh. That does appear to be Dark Bramble moving. Like, abruptly. Maybe. Unless it doesn't crash into it, and just like a weird gravitational pull type of thing. Up oh, there's the music, of course. So, it may have already happened and I just didn't notice it, or maybe it was just a lot less spectacular than I thought it was gonna be. Well, it said Grand Sheep approaching in this much time. It might take longer for it to actually impact. Uh, I heard a weird sound. Um, the power station, or, I don't know what that thing is. I'm gonna call it the power station for now. Oh, the power station's crashing in a giant steep. Or that thing. Uh, and then a bunch of things are pulling off of Giant Steep. Oh, sorry, a Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble. And they're falling into Giant Steep. 
I wonder if Gabro has anything to say about Sorry, is that- yeah, Gabro. I wonder if Gabro has anything to say about that. Like, at the end of every time loop, things fall onto me. There's the- there's the old quantum moon. Um, why am I falling into Giant Steep? I mean, probably because I got too close to Giant Steep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so, what did we learn? Uh, we learned that Giant Steep's gravity is pulling various structures off of Dark Bramble at the end of the time loop, and that is probably me falling into Giant Steep there. So, next loop, I'm gonna... One thing I liked uh, from Nerd Cube's played through was every single episode was its own... Uh, that's cool. Uh, was it's every, every single loop with his own episode, no matter like how early he died on it. So I think I'm going to do that for uh, this playthrough. Uh, so um, thank you for watching uh, Outer Wild, The Outsider, Episode 1, and uh, let's get some answers on Episode 2. <laughs> that is way cooler than I remember it looking. Bye! <laughs>